Uh, hi guys, uh, I'm Clinton Williams. I am the founder of Usher In, which is a mobile app dedicated to the performing arts and their audience. Uh, so I'm going to try to go through this as quickly as possible, and I think the best way to do that is take you through the multiple phases that Usher In has gone through in the past six months of its creation. Uh, so Usher In actually came about as a solution to a budgetary issue that I had with my own nonprofit arts organization, Totem Arts Project. While I was sitting down with my budget, I realized that I was allocating $50,000 a year toward printing costs only, like solely towards printing costs. Uh, and my solution to that was that we would never print a show program. We would take it digital. So while thinking about this, a slogan rang in my mind, there's an app for that. Well, I am actually here to tell you that that is a lie. Uh, there was not an app for that. So I set out on a mission to create it for myself. Uh, which brings us to Usher In Phase 1, the show programs. So what we offer here is uh, the digital hosting of show programs for any performing arts organization, giving them the ability to go green uh, and reduce and even eliminate their printing costs. Uh, there's also, as you'll see within here, the ability to directly link to sites, uh, which is good for advertising and garnishing advertisements for the companies itself. Uh, from the user's perspective, it's an easy browsing tool. Uh, for a page overview, you can skip to any page that you'd like to see within the app itself or within the show program itself. You have the ability to download uh, as a PDF and they can print as well and also the ability to share uh, via social media, text, however they'd like. Um, so let's stop for a second and look at what we have. Uh, we have isolated a community of already established arts goers. That right there is the holy grail of arts marketing. So how do we take this a step further? We move into Usher In Phase 2, which is the mobile hosting platform. So now we're offering theater companies and uh, performing arts organizations the ability to host all of their content on a mobile app and the ability to directly communicate with their target market. So here you'll see, uh, let's use New Conservatory Theater as an example. So there's an About Us section which takes you through contact, you can donate, that is actually one of the most pivotal uh, things for a theater company or nonprofit arts organization. Uh, you can also uh, view their season with ticket purchasing links. Um, also, let's go back. Uh, Training, which shows the classes that they offer. You have the ability to register as a user, ways to get involved, volunteering, uh, and also social media links. So clearly this is beneficial to the company, but what about the user? So this moves us on to Usher In Phase 3, uh, the show-going experience, so, which is actually the prototype that you see before you that we launched in October uh, with our six hosted companies to kind of test the waters. Um, you can, uh, as it stands right now, if you want to find an event around your area, you have to scour through multiple sites or apps uh, to find the ticket and sometimes even to find that the event is sold out for the evening. Uh, with Usher In, we're trying to condense this whole experience into one platform. So the users have the ability to find events based on their location. Uh, so with the ability to uh, purchase the ticket directly, download it into the app and utilize it at the theater itself. You can also get directions to the venue. And with our pre-show option, it shows you restaurants and parking around the venue as well. Um, we talked about the programs, that's also good for the user as well. Uh, we also plan to implement a pre-ordering of concessions, so there's no longer a waiting in line to get your beer in line at intermission. You can go directly into our app, purchase, have it picked up. Uh, Right, directly at the uh, concessions. Uh, so we've been here for, uh, or we've been around for the past two months. We've garnered uh, 500 users uh, in with little to no marketing on our part. This is all through the theater companies that are hosted within our app. Uh, and we also have 20 companies on the pipeline waiting to host on our app as soon as we're ready to push them in. So our plan is to establish our market here in the Bay Area and then move out into larger markets throughout the nation. Uh, for future phases, uh, partnerships with companies like, we just partnered with a ticket, ticket servicing platform, BBO, we'll be able to offer discount tickets to our users. Uh, we also plan to implement more content, interviews backstage, uh, 
backstage exclusives such as red carpet events, uh, show reviews. We plan to implement individual artist pages, so actors, directors, designers will be able to link to the theater companies or performing arts organizations that they work for. Um, basically creating a social network for the performing arts that does not exist. Uh, and establishing ourselves as a lifestyle brand for this $4 billion industry that hasn't been tapped into. Uh, so right now we're seeking funding and a team to, uh, in order to be successful, and we actually plan to be the technology company for the performing arts. So thank you very much. Uh, I'm out of time, it looks like. Do you guys have questions? Yes. So originally it started out as a digital program. Yeah. Um, are you shifting away from that? We're, we're still we're still keeping that there. It's just we've realized that there is way more that we can offer with right. this uh, with the app itself, having all these. Because uh, one of the challenges I, I would perceive is um, a lot of times your phones aren't allowed to be turned on during the show, where uh, you can sneak into the. Program. So yeah, okay, that's that's actually a good point that you're making right there. So one of my pitches to the theater companies is stop fighting technology. It's not going anywhere. Let's <laughs> use it to our advantage, shall we? Anyone else? Yeah. Are there any competitors and uh, what makes you... Clearly we, we have competitors, but we don't have any direct competitors. There's nothing really out there right now that exists like this as Ushran stands. Um, there are, our biggest competitors are really discount ticket platforms, such as one company, Today Ticks, is actually kind of taking the uh, theater and performing arts community by storm right now, but what, where we stand out, uh, my business partner and I are both actors and have worked in this industry our whole entire life. So we know the ins and outs of the industry outside of what our competitors uh, know. And we also have established connections both locally and nationally uh, that will help us in the future. Anyone else? Yes, sir. Do you see advertisement being built into this as a revenue? Advertisement is a huge revenue stream for us, or will be a huge revenue stream for us. Uh, we hope to actually reach out to uh, restaurants and photographers, any, any business that can profit from an established arts community uh, to uh, come into the app. And once we implement video and such, it will be a huge, an like, even bigger revenue stream for us. Because a particular brand of wine or particular, you know, yeah. they may want you to get it at the concession stand. Yeah, absolutely. So, absolutely. There's a, there's a huge amount of potential specifically within the advertising within the app itself. You mentioned that you know, it started because you saw you were going to put a, a ton of your money into uh, the budget into printing costs. Right. Could you express that as like a, like a percentage you would expect to find like out in the market? Like how much people spend as a percentage of... Absolutely. Budget? So are you talking specifically about theater companies or performing arts organizations? So the, the thing is, is for my company, it was really a third of our marketing budget that we were putting toward this, uh, which is kind of a huge amount just for printing costs. Uh, and most arts organizations are doing that as well, but they're, my company's small because we just founded, we founded it in January, so the larger performing arts organizations are spending upwards of $100,000 a year specifically on printing costs, uh, which includes marketing and includes show programs and uh, uh, anything of that sort. How would you price would this? How you, this. Yeah, how so for the theater, it's a tiered system. So for the theater companies to host, it's a yearly subscription, and right now we're kind of doing it at a discounted rate. Um, so it's anywhere from fifteen hundred a year to thirty-six hundred a year, depending on the amount of content that you want to host within our app. And what we also do for the performing arts organizations, since they're always understaffed, is we take on content management and uh, communication services for them, so that we're not adding an extra layer of work onto these companies. Anyway, yep. So, um, I think you said right now it's just in the Bay Area. Correct. But, um, how are you getting event content and then the restaurant content and, and those kinds of things? Is that do you have a partner or are you manually uh, you know, choosing restaurants in the area? Yeah, so we're being kind of selective about the restaurants that we host. We don't want to have like Burger King out here or anything. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, so. We ourselves are going through and filtering out what we think will be most beneficial to our users itself uh, and placing that within the app, as well as reaching out and making our own partnerships with these uh, these restaurants. Uh, not to mention, with the performing arts organizations, they already have established connections with the restaurants and such around their area, so we're using them to leverage for ourselves. Does 
Does that answer your question? Yes. Cool. Are we done? Yeah. Cool. All Thank right. you guys so much. I'll be around if you guys have any other questions.